Hi everyone, it's Ariel from Squishy Panda Shop and today we will be making a holographic jellyfish. <clears throat> so what you'll be needing is some translucent clay. Um, you don't have to, but I use Sculpey 3, the glow in the dark, if you want it to glow in the dark. That's only if you do. And then you'll need just a little bit of black clay. And then you will need your holographic powder. And then you just need your like dotting tool, the knife, etc. So, <clears throat> to start off, you will need to get a small ball of the translucent clay. Um, it doesn't have to be that big, it depends on what size you want. And then I mix it with the glow in the dark clay. Then you'll get a ball that's about like this. Looks good. <clears throat> so for me personally, I like to actually use an ice cream mold, the topping. But you can use a circle. But I like the ice cream mold topping just because it, you know, shapes it a little bit better and it's more consistent on size and it just makes it easier. If not, you can always just get the ball and then just cut it in half. Make sure to put it in the freezer first for about like 10 minutes and then cut it in half. And we will get this shape. I like it because it makes the jellyfish look a little bit cooler. Okay, there you go. Then with the leftovers that you have, you will then just roll it out. And you're going to take your knife and you're just going to cut them into pieces. Yep. Then what you do is you flip the, flip the ice cream top over. I use my dotting tool. I grab the pieces and I put them towards the middle not all the way and then I just make them stick out different ways like as if it was like clocks and always make sure to put one in the center with your dotting tool, just smooth out the bottom parts of them that, so that they are sealed. Then, once it looks like this, gently squeeze them together. And then just, once they're squeezed like this, just twist it. And just lightly press them. You don't want to press them too much, otherwise they'll just come out like a glob. Just like this. I use the tool again just to seal off the edges on the outside. And then with your black clay, you'll roll out two eyes. I am bad at making faces. So, we'll just see how it comes out. Then I get some bacon bun. I always put a little dot on the side normally when I start this. Just a small dot. I just rub the eye pin on it. That way when you bake it, it's sealed. So 
you get your holographic powder. Oops, I guess I shook it too much. Okay, now with the powder, you gotta be very careful with the jellyfish because it is a bit more delicate because of the bottom part. But what I do is you tap first, then I just rub. It's okay if you get it over the eyes, you will clean it up after it bakes. Mm -hmm. It'll look a little messy at first, but then you will bake it according to your um, clay's instruction on the package. Okay, now we have it baked. It's actually sticking very well. Not much is coming off as I'm twisting it. Um, to clean the eyes, all you need is nail polish remover and a Q-tip. And then you just grab the Q-tip. Mine's not wet because I already cleaned it. Cause, but you need to be very gentle and just like wipe off the eye, the black part, just to clean it up. That way it comes out a bit more clear. But other than that, that's how you make a holographic jellyfish. Ta-da! Thanks for watching. Have a good day, everyone.